In the skies over Europe in 1944, as the daylight bombing offensive intensified, the Allies desperately needed air superiority. This is the aircraft that gave it to them. The North American P-51 Mustang had the range and the firepower to ride shotgun for the bombers, escorting them all the way to Germany and all the way home again. It was without doubt one of the most important fighters of the war. This is the definitive version it's a P-51D Mustang, powered by a Packard Merlin engine and operated by a group of warbird enthusiasts out of Caboolture Airfield near Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. It's flown for us by Matt Hall. Matt used to fly F-A-18 Hornets and at the time of shooting was Australia's only representative in the Red Bull Air Race team. What's it like to fly a Mustang? With Matt's help, we'll find out. We're on the uh, left-hand fuel tank with the boost pump is on and the contents are all good. Flaps are up, instruments are all erect and set. We'll leave the strobes off for this one. We're in uh, filtered air and we're moving the controls. We'll close the ramp, main ramp slightly before we go to auto and then we'll take the runway. As I go through at 30 inches, I'll get to maximum RPM. I'll continue through to 50 inches, then push forward on the stick and get the tail off the ground. I'll accelerate to about 100 knots, then I'll just lightly bring in some back pressure and let the aircraft fly itself off the ground and get the uh, undercarriage coming up as soon as possible to get rid of that drag. While I'm continuing to do this, we want to get the gear up before 145 knots, and once that's stable, just then come inside, make sure all the engine parameters are good, and then open the ram air, and we're off and away. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.